dear finance professionals and students welcome to podcast of fca deepak rao a practicing chartered accountant daily news and updates for 16th july 2024 Bharti Group back Etisalat One Web and Reliance Jio are believed to have called on Communications Minister Jyoti Raditya Sindhya to consider early provisional allocation of satellite spectrum for around 6 months so that companies that have the requisite permissions can quickly launch broadband from space services commercially in India they aim to compete with Kuiper and Starlink India's space economy could hit 44 billion dollars by 2033 with appropriate policies. The center is considering a change in the holding period for computing capital gains tax on immovable assets such as real estate to bring about uniformity. Currently, any capital gain from sale of real estate held for 24 months or less is treated as a short-term capital gain. In contrast, the holding period threshold for listed equities and equity mutual funds is 12 months. The proposal suggests that property held for more than 12 months be considered long-term assets, bringing this in line with equities and equity mutual funds. Banks are preparing for collective equity fund raise of nearly rupees 40,000 crore in the second half of this financial year. They are expected to use the fresh capital to reinforce balance sheets mainly to support expansion. The boards of state run Punjab National Bank and Bank of Maharashtra have approved proposals to raise rupees 7500 crore each. Union Bank of India said it may opt for a qualified institutional placement as well as other equity routes for raising rupees 6000 crore. Banks are likely to soon set up a Section 8 entity under the Companies Act to apply for a self-regulatory organization or SRO license for the fintech sector under Reserve Bank's framework. Lenders have also held discussions with other organizations including the Payment Council of India to be part of this new firm. The CBIC has received various representations from trade and industry seeking clarifications on various issues pertaining to the taxability and valuation of supply of services of providing corporate guarantee between related persons. Therefore, the CBIC has issued circular to provide clarity regarding the applicability of Rule 28-2, which is amended retrospectively with effect from 26 October 2023. It is also clarified that in respect of supply of services of providing corporate guarantee between related persons in respect of corporate guarantee issued or renewed before 26 October 2023 the valuation of the said supply is set to be done in accordance with rule 28 as it existed during that time However, if the corporate guarantee is issued or renewed on or after 26 October 2023, then the valuation of the said supply will be required to be done as per Rule 28-2 of the CGST rules. This podcast is sponsored by Sound of CA. We share because we care. Vande Mataram, Jai Hind.